So hopefully you can hear me over all the noise in my room. This is just something I have to get used to. Maybe investing in a microphone would help, but I'll get there when I get there. So I was gone from video making for one whole week. That's right, seven whole days. How did you guys live? Basically, I just got in this really weird funk. I wasn't feeling good emotionally or physically. It kind of just got to the point where I lost like all motivation to do anything for a solid week, but I'm back. I'm good. I'm good now. <coughs> I'm back and I'm great. Basically, I have this problem when I make videos. If I go too long without filming a video, and by too long, I literally mean three days. If I go three whole days without filming a video, I suddenly like forget how to do videos. I suddenly forget how to talk to a camera. I suddenly forget how to sit in front of one. I like forget everything and it makes me even less motivated to film. So I have to stay consistent with my videos or else I go this weird awkward length of time without posting one because then I don't know how to do it. I don't know if that really makes any sense, but that's where I am. This video is kind of just like a getting back into things video where I kind of just get used to talking to a camera again because it's been seven whole days. So I hope you enjoyed this video of me teaching my armadillo dog skank skink how to play fetch. Because what better way to bond with a reptile? This tank has the worst evaporation problems in the world because there's no lid. So the water just goes away and then it makes this fun noise and spits bubbles. Oh, so nice. And then I hear this noise, it wakes me up often. Oh, now it won't, now it won't do the noise. That noise, that noise. And if you're wondering, Taylor, why do you have the lights off on this beautiful tank of yours? Well, you see, I haven't cleaned this tank in about five days, and you might be thinking, oh, five days, that's no big deal. Well, let me show you something, okay? I have an Apex now, so I can control my tank from my phone. I'll do a whole video on that very soon. But let me show you something. So if I turn these lights on, Ooh, algae. The algae is pretty ugly, so I just need to fix that. So right now we're gonna take my dog outside. Yes, that dog, not my actual dog. Don't be ridiculous. I feel like this cage is too small for her, honestly. So I like to take her outside to get her energy out because I don't like keeping her cooped up in this cage at all. I just wanna say real quick that I hate this tank. Sorry, I just do because I have to take this lid off in a really weird way every single time I want to open her tank. Okay, let me hang this light so it doesn't fall. I know, you're so ready. Okay, let's see what she wants to do outside. Are you gonna bark back? Bark back, let them know that you're here and that you're protecting this lawn. My biggest fear about living in Texas when it comes to my animals is that there are giant hawks. So if I go outside with any of my smaller animals, I have to like hover over them. So I'm not about to have a hawk swoop up and eat my armadillo. Okay, so. Is that an armadillo? Here, you see this? No, don't turn around. Hey, you see it? Go fetch. You're a little off. Are you fetching? It's right in front of you. Please get it. You're almost there. You fetch. Now bring it back. No, that's not how you play. You see this? Fetch. You're almost there. You got the fetch part down, you just don't bring it back. And you just walk right past it when you find it. You see this? Fetch. Where did it go? It's that way. You're going the wrong way. Hey, you see this? Wait. No, 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 wrong way, no. Hey, where are you going? How can something with such small legs walk so fast? What did you find? I see a banana. No, 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 you can't eat anything in the back. That's a rock, stop, no, no. It's a rock. I thought it was banana. Just so you all guys know, we don't use pesticides on our yard or anything, so it's not dangerous for her to go in the grass. If you use pesticides in your yard, you, don't, you really don't want to let any kind of like exotic animals and stuff go in the grass, because then if they eat something, they can get sick and die. Oh yeah, yeah, I'd like to see you try to scale that. Try, go for it with your little nubby legs. Does that even count as a leg? 
jerk. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go fetch. It's way over there. You got a long ways to go. You're on track. You got this. Go. I believe in you. She's on the right path. Why are you stopping? You don't have to stop now. You can do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Do it. So just do it. Just do it. Do it. You're so close. No, 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 you're going the wrong way. You're almost there. You're almost there. No. <gasps> what a good dog. I listened to Shia the Beef. Uh, your legs are so short, you probably can't even get off of me. Oh, you just... You just kind of melted right off of me, okay. No, you can't make that jump. You can't, you're gonna hurt yourself, no. I know you can't do that. Yeah, that's right, turn around. I'm sorry, but there's just some things you can't do. I love her tiny little dog arms. You just nibbled on me a little bit, kind of felt weird. Your nails look like a banana. Okay, it's time to exchange you for a real dog. Real dogs. Real dogs. Hello, real dogs. Go outside, my real dogs. Hey Cheese, how you doing? Well, if you really want to know, I'm doing okay, but I could really go for a snack. Wait, come back. I taught her how to fetch. Did you? Yeah. <laughs> she just doesn't bring it back. Uh, yeah, she knows how to get. Kind of like blends with the tile. Yes. I only get tile in my house that match my animals. Are you getting it? That's a really big piece. I don't care. What a good armadillo. She's eating a banana on the ground. Excuse me, recognize me. Pay attention to me. Hello, hello. Banana. Go fetch. You fetching? No! So people always ask what I feed my dog. I mean, armadillo. I mean, skank. That is so great. A blue tongue what? Skink. Yeah. Skink? Yeah. So first thing I'm going to give her is a hard boiled egg without the shell. I tried to get that off the best I could. I'm not gonna give her the pieces that have the shell on it, of course. And then we're gonna give her a banana, and then we're gonna give her some veggies. So I'm out of most of my vegetables today, so I have to make a run to the store tomorrow because generally you want about 50% of their diet or 60% of their diet to be vegetables, and I'm kinda out right now, so that kinda sucks. I have given her some sugar snap peas, hard boiled eggs, bananas, and strawberries. That awkward moment when your animals eat better than you do. Bendigo, run to your food that I just so nicely prepared. Go to it. Shut up, Tank! What are you doing? You're walking on your food. I made that specially for you. I spent so long preparing it. Okay, so I have completely, completely, completely sucked at fan mail videos. I've been getting all of your mail. I actually filmed a whole video and I somehow deleted it. I deleted it off my camera because I thought I had already uploaded it to my computer, but I hadn't uploaded it to my computer, so I just lost the footage of me opening all your fan mail. So to kind of mix things up for these next few videos, I'm gonna feature some of the fan mail at the end of the video and then I'll try to get back into opening all of it on camera. My fan mail is really bad, guys. Like, the fan mail's great, but like, my situation with it is bad. It's a whole drawer, and there's also more of it in my other room. I need to get to opening it. If you didn't notice, <laughs> What's more important on an animal channel than hair? Nothing. I changed my hair again. This is actually, I've kind of, blonde hair really, really stressed me out. I know this is still kind of blonde, but this is a darker blonde. That white platinum blonde that I was doing would get brassy every other day, so I was always in the salon spending hundreds of dollars on my hair. So, I'm kind of going back to my roots. Roots. Do you get it? Because I'm going back to my natural color, which is my roots. I'm going back to them. No, it's not, it's not that funny. You got it, but it wasn't that funny. Okay. Anyway, fan mail. Okay. Look at this. I'm sorry that I couldn't open it on video. I literally teared up when I opened it, but I lost the footage. But look how awesome this is. Someone carved this out of wood. I'm going to put a link to this guy's work in my description because this is awesome. Like, if y'all guys don't know, this is my hedgehog. 
The cheering hedgehog is my hedgehog. I just, I love Nala so much and this is so cool. This is so cool. Thank you. So please go check out his work because that was like the coolest thing ever. I legit teared up when I opened it. Because the amount of work that must have gone into that, like that was so sweet of someone to spend time doing that to send it to me. And they probably hate me now because of how long it took me to put it in my video. But thank you. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys. Bye. Do you need help? Do you want me to hold your plate for you? Banana.